folks, how are we all doing? It's Colin here at Robson Rover Repair HQ. Folks, today is a good day. I have some good news. You asked, I delivered. Yes, that's right. They're here. The different scents that people were requesting for the uh, Robson Rover Repair Air Fresheners. Now, there's going to be a competition at the end of this video, so please watch to the end of the video and all will be explained but in the meantime you're going to see a link coming up to the ebay shop that is where you'll be able to buy the air fresheners and we're going to talk about the air fresheners now so why have i produced another several cents of air fresheners some of you know look i want to grow the channel but my problem is equipment okay I don't have money spare to go out and buy a GoPro and decent microphones and things like that. Um, first thing, a couple of you guys are going to turn around and go, Oh, Colin, you've got half a dozen cars. And I say, yes, I do have half a dozen cars. I have half a dozen project cars. And what a lot of people don't know about me is that I'm saving for IVF treatment. Okay. Um, to be able to one day be a father, I can't have children in the national traditional way so the way I've always done things is that any money that I have from my cars from my car projects I'll buy a car I'll work on it I'll sell it that then pays for my parts for my next project car if I've made a profit or my classic insurance etc I don't actually put any of my own personal money into my project cars so it's always money that I've made from another project, which is times you'll see some of the videos take a couple of months before there's a big upgrade because I've had to save up quite a bit to get to do the next stage. So for me, the idea of going and spending a couple of hundred pounds on a GoPro is a bit daunting whenever I would rather spend a couple of hundred pounds on you know, clutch kit or you know suspension springs whatever you know getting the sills welded up on the long wheelbase six door limo you know that kind of stuff and as a lot of you guys know as well as i always try to do stuff for charity um i still have a few of the robson whoop the robson rover repair key rings and um, there's 20 of them left in the ebay shop link up there um, at the minute we have sold seven, no, 55 of them, which means that guys, we're already 186 quid towards Cancer Research UK. Thank you very much. Um, everyone knows I'm selling them for 750. Out of that 325 goes guaranteed Cancer Research UK. I'm covering the extra for global postage myself because Cancer Research means such a big thing to me. But anyway, the good news. The air fresheners, this is how you guys can sponsor me. So we have five cents now, all right? And we'll start with vanilla. That's right, guys. This is the one you guys have already been buying. But we're giving it a new name. It's called CVT, Continuously Vanilla Taste. That's right. Everything that we are going to be selling going forward is going to be Rover themed or Rover named. So. This has proved very, very popular. I know a lot of people have been telling me they're you know, after three weeks, three and a half weeks, they're still getting an odor in their car. Um, I personally am finding in around 25, 30 days and the scent is gone. Um, that's not bad, but considering we've been having such extreme heat in the last few weeks, that possibly has contributed to making them maybe not last as long as possible, causing them to evaporate faster. But hey, being honest with it, so three pound delivered in the UK and anywhere else in the world it's about an extra pound and four pence sort you out so CVT continuous vanilla taste that is the old scent which is still here I have several of them still left over what's coming up next well how dare you how dare you as Miss Thornburg would say we have forest rain that's right but we're not calling it forest rain we're calling it continuous deforestation tax cdt just like all you diesel drivers that's right so for whenever you have broken down 
and it's always in a forest and it's always raining and it's always wet and you get that glorious odor over the smell of burst covent pipes of wet forest rain this is it if you like the flashback of you breaking down that is the one for you i have to admit this is my favorite of the bunch so far um it's nice and neutral it's very enjoyable and um i've had a lot of positive feedback from people already who have been given samples during the track next up coconut or as i'm calling it vvc that's right very very coconut um just what you need whenever you are smashing the rev limiter off your brm or your mgzr 160 whatever um I have to admit, this one's a great one. Uh, it gives you that real sort of, it's somewhere in between the smell of a rum cocktail and like a bounty bar chocolate cake. It's really, really fresh. If you haven't had a summer holiday this year, this is the one to do. This will make you feel like you're on a Caribbean beach being served a rum cocktail by a waitress whose bra is barely fitting onto her. That's, that's, that's what you want. You want that summer feeling without having to worry about a COVID passport. So there we go. Next up, we have new car smell. But that's face facts. None of our cars are new. When was the last time you saw a new Rover? Nah, not too many of them about. And don't mention that six mile example on eBay that's been resold half a dozen times. We don't talk about that. So we're not calling it new car smell. We're calling it contemporary car odor. That's right, contemporary. Because you are contemporary. You're modern yet traditional. So. Like the Rover 75, contemporary car odor is the one for you. Now, I have to admit, this is nice. This really surprised me. I find a lot of the new car odor smells are very, very overpowering when you get into them. It's really a nasty experience, but this is nice. It's, I would say on a strength test, I'll tell you what, I'll rate them all at the end when it comes to smell um, for strength. This is a nice one. This is a, a good, popular, I think will be a very popular smell with people. And finally, what I think will be the number one seller, sandalwood. But we're not calling it sandalwood. Oh, no, 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 no. This is SD1, sandalwood daddy number one. That's right. You guys know who you are. You're that 50-year-old guy who's still driving a rover sd1 or a rover 800 that always offers to pick up his 21 year old daughter and her friends from a night out in the piss you're checking out their legs you're checking out their thighs oh he's such a nice guy for driving us home yet respect your technique fair play to you no jokes aside this is a great one this would be well i would say this is the strongest of the batch and um, if you have a musty car or an old car this is the one for you. If you have a car where it's not odor cancelling, but it's really, really good. But yet at the same time, it's not over powerful. It gives you that real nice wasp of, I would say like an old English stately building, that kind of nice wooden texture odor kind of thing. Very, very enjoyable. Um, I have to admit, um, I really wish I had something older to put that in because it would suit it down to the ground. You know, I'm talking like Austin Allegro or you know, something along those sort of lines. It's it's a real nice one. So I would say it's probably the strongest scent out of all of them, but at the same time, it's not the most overpowering. Out of them in reverse order, strength-wise, I would say then coconut would be the next strongest. It's not that it's strong. It's just that it's fresh and that's such a you know what you know what i mean it's like it's such a nice fresh smell and strong you get into the car yeah i'm in barbados i'm gonna go for a cruise here you know stop at a beach somewhere and get lobster and have like a a rum cocktail or something like that it's that's that's a nice one um well hold on where are we going here too many in my hands here at once um so we had coconut new car smell i would say that's probably the most middle of the range um Again, like I say, it's continuous, but not overpowering. Um, I've had this now as a sample for five weeks in my limousine, and it still smells after five weeks. Um, the limousine hasn't moved, hasn't gone anywhere, and has sat in that baking heat that we've had in the UK. So 
for me, if you're wanting best value for money, if you're only going to buy one, it would probably be the new color smell. Um, finally, we're not quite finally yet. Forest rain. It's delicate. It's nice. It's enjoyable. It's something that anyone who gets into the car is going to be like, oh, that's nice. That's fresh. Um, I'd probably give it about a five out of ten on strength, to be completely honest. But it is. It's it's a nice natural odor. Um, if you're someone who suffers from a lot of a allergies and things like that, reacts to chemicals and all, this would be the one for you. And then finally, we're back to vanilla. Um, I've had so many good compliments about this. People have said to me, I actually sold one of these to a gentleman who lives in Mallorca and he's currently cruising around in Mallorca in his little 214 five door. And he says he loves it. He says it's lasted him for a few weeks out there already. Um, so Miguel, thank you very much. So yeah, folks, that's them. Get them in my eBay shop now. Um, but like I said, there's a competition here. So, I'm going to give three people five cents for free, okay? And it's going to be one each, so it gives you the choice. That's right. I'm giving stuff away. I can't, I love giving stuff away on the channel. I wish I could give away cars and stuff like that, but I can't. Um, so here's the plan, all right? One person from my YouTube followers is going to get it. One person from my Instagram followers is going to get it. And one person from my Facebook followers is going to get it. This video goes up today and the result will be done. Well, let's see now. It's Monday. You know what? Let's give it 24 hours. We'll give it 24 hours. 24 hours after this video goes up, I will do an announcement on my Instagram, who's won there. I will do an announcement on my YouTube, who's won there. I'll do an announcement on my Facebook page, who's won there. So if you're a follower on any of those pages, um, go for it. If you're a follower on all three, hey, guess what? You've got three times the chances to win. So like I say, if you're a follower on Instagram, if you're a follower on the Facebook page, and if you're a follower or subscriber on YouTube, and guess what? There's all the subscriber information there. Pretty easy. Guys, I can't make it any easier for you to give stuff to you. Um, there we go. Get out there. Get them bought. Price is £3, including UK postage. European postage is an extra pound and four pence. Uh, I'm covering part of the European postage. I'm making 44p off each one of these. I'm not making a lot of money. Um, eBay fees is costing me 66p. The uh, envelope cost me 5 to 7p. Uh, the UK stamp cost me 66p. And by the time one thing and another is all done, I'm making 44p. Not a lot of money. I know. This is how I want to grow the channel. This is how I want to get myself a GoPro. This is what I want to do. Folks, thank you very much. Please, please, please buy. Or else I'm going to be stuck with a couple of hundred air fresheners. That at least my cars will smell nice for the next couple of years. Um, as always, gang. Thank you very much. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, I do have some videos coming. I have a really big video coming in September um, with regards to my ZTT. Um, I also am still waiting, unfortunately, on my welder for my six-door limousine. And um, my next car video is going to be all about my daily driver, my white 75 diesel. Um, a lot of you guys have seen it at car shows and meets. I brought it over to Pride of Language a couple of times. It's a car I love the bits. Basic, but I love the bits. So it's going to be my daily driver video um, for you guys to enjoy and experience. See you in the next video. Um, remember, three chances to win, three opportunities, and I'll be randomly picked. And it doesn't matter where you are in the world, I'll post you one of each cent. Come on, guys, that's a good deal. That's a damn good deal. So see us in the next video. And uh, as I always say, buy something, build something, break something, and blog it. Because you know what? Who cares? It doesn't matter if you make mistakes. It doesn't matter if you break it. Because at the end of the day, most mechanics don't know how to work on a rover nowadays anyway. And they're just going to fuck it up too. So you might as well fuck it up for them. See us in the next video, guys. Take it easy.